In tonight's follow-up file, we have new details about a DEA investigation that ended with a shootout. One suspect has been identified, and we have a look at the charges he's facing tonight. Let's go to Local 10's Sinella Sabovic, live now in Fort Lauderdale, with an update for Sinella. Well, Calvin, this all began as a cocaine investigation, and on Friday, it was supposed to be a takedown that turned into a shootout with police. Two men now facing some very serious charges from attempted murder to drug charges. This is one of two men involved in a drug sting and shootout with police Friday afternoon. Horvin McKenzie is now behind bars, and according to a federal criminal complaint, DEA special agents have been focused on him for a few weeks now. It goes on to say that McKenzie met with two of the agency's confidential informants about a drug deal on April 6th. On the 18th, he told them he would meet them in a few days at the Bass Pro Shops in Dania Beach to conduct the drug deal. On Friday, McKenzie and David Jonathan Ventura allegedly showed up with two kilos of cocaine in exchange for $64,000. Agents and detectives then moved in, boxing in the suspect's cars with their own vehicles. And that's when they say Ventura shot at them, injuring one plantation detective assigned to BSO's drug task force in the arm. Officers returned fire and shot Ventura. He's seen here getting wheeled into the hospital. So both Ventura and that plantation police officer sustained non life threatening injuries in that shootout. As far as McKenzie is concerned, he is expected to make his first federal court appearance here tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning. That's the latest here from Fort Lauderdale. Sonella Sabovic, local 10 news.